So here we go. Let's get going with clip. Open it up. Search for the vehicle. Model of this one is BM1E. Test number 0016. Computer test. What I'm trying to do here is verify whether my injectors have ever been changed uh, and if they need coding or whatever. So I will continue from this page to the next one. Check injections, diagnose injection and repair. Unfortunately all I can see is four items, none of them related to the injectors. I see the air conditioning, the water and diesel detector, the cruise air control and the speed limiter. The last three I haven't even got this car. Now going back to injection Continue. Check numbers. Now, I've got injection and all other ECUs appearing here, all with the same V number. So this car has genuine parts. Nothing has ever been changed or installed. What I cannot access is the injectors themselves. All I can see is that the injection ECU is the correct one for the car. Now, let's go and see if we can find a way to do that because I know I've seen it before. So let's go one step further. Uh, injection, main data, full check, read status and parameters, calculators, technical documentation, recording, and computer identification. This is the page I was looking for. Now, according to the rules, this one should allow me to see my components of the injections as well as the injectors. But see what happens? I can see the supplier, I can see the MPR reference, I can see many other items, the software included, which is the D000. I can see the calibration number, which is 0146. I can see the electronic version, which is this long number, MD4626 and the VIN code for the injection, but there's no injectors appearing. Now, question is, is it clip playing up or perhaps the Megan Privilege, which is using a K9K engine, I believe 732, I'm not sure, but in any case, it's a 106 BHP, maybe because he has a Siemens injection Maybe the injectors are all identical, maybe they don't need coding. I need this information from somewhere. I'm seeking for it, and when I do find it, I will let everybody know, just in case they fall into the same trap as I did. So, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.